it's code, man. Yeah, we're going straight to Battlefield. And, um, yeah, Fury has been the other Yo. Falcon other is, than Nicholas. Is that Smash 4 music I hear? Yeah, probably the last time I saw Fury anyway. But, um, <laughs> wow, that's true. <laughs> but, uh, the, yeah, pro man. the game probably knows. It's like, oh, Smash 4, if I play the music. Yeah. All right, and here we got Code Man with Simon Simone Belmont. Yeah. What do you think about this matchup, Belmont versus Falcon? I know nothing about it. It's going to be whether or not Falcon can break the zone. And more importantly, can he stop Belmont from getting away from him with down tilt? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. because it's like the Belmonts are well known for throwing projectiles at opponents and spacing them out with big, long, uh, you know. Ooh. And there goes Fury's first stock. Yeah. Falcon dives in the wrong direction. Yeah. Belmonts are known for just throwing stuff at you and cracking the whip at you. But it's like they have for some reason, like, athletic moves. They have the dive kick down there that bounces off your shield and is safe against most of the I mean, cast. They're vampire hunters. They have the two-part... <laughs> they're vampire hunters. There's you don't need to be athletic to hunt a vampire, dude. Yeah, are you kidding me? Vampires are, like, superhuman. Of course we need to be athletic. They're superhuman? Yeah, vampires? Regardless. It's... John, are you okay? <laughs> Maybe the vampires in the Castlevania series. Anyway... Okay, so, um, Cold Man's actually kind of running away with this But right he has, like, a bouncing die kick. He has a two-part slide. He has an invincible up B. It's like, even if you break their zone, they might just break your zone and get back into zoning, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they, they have some get-off-me options. It can be very annoying when it happens, though. That's for sure. It makes them a very effective, for some reason, zoner. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Um, there's definitely a reason behind it. This character does have a lot of projectiles that confirm into each other. Can confirm into the whip attacks. Um, the whip attack is like pseudo safe on shield. That happens with the with the holy and water. Code man t is taunting right now. Yeah, He's man. feeling very confident. Yeah, and Fury hasn't really been able to start anything up really. I mean, he got him to kill percent. That's something. If we discount the SD, has been keeping pace in this match to an extent. Yeah. He kind of lost that whole last stock. There's the down tilt. He needs to be more aware of it. Because most characters, as long as you have, like, even average mobility, you can punish the assignment. You can punish Belmont down to out of the corner. Yeah. But you need to be ready for it and shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, right now, Fury taking his first stop, and okay. I respect the Nair Falcon uh, Raptor boost. Yeah. It's like, you gotta get close and bait it out. And Falcon is good oh, at baiting. Oh, jump? Ooh, okay. Against tether recoveries, it doesn't matter too much if you take their jump, as long as they're close enough to the ledge. There it is! Punish time. Don't let them down tall out of the corner for free. Uh-oh, here we go. Ooh. Yeah, and Fury kind of looks like he's mis-inputting a little bit. Um, letting Coleman get away with, with certain things. Coleman with the Nair out of shield, pushing him back to the ledge. Here we go. <laughs> Hits him with the axe. Here's another axe. Raw axe. Yeah, let Coleman's usage of the Nair. He's using it kind of just to re reposition himself in neutral most of the time. Down throw. Oh, no, D DI's in the down throw. Yeah. Uh, okay. Coleman's gonna wake up down tilt. He hasn't broken that habit yet. Fury's yeah. doing a good job of punishing it now because he's kinda ready. Yeah, and he's gonna Are keep you kidding doing, me? He's gonna keep doing that until Fury makes him stop doing it, right? But he has punished him already. That's the funny part. Yeah, but he hasn't died for it, so why not keep doing it? You're right. <laughs> he should just run up and uh, Falcon dive him. Yeah, if like he if it's mid stage, I understand, but out of the corner every time. Oh. And Ooh. Code Man is doing something interesting. He's probably just getting risky since he's a full stock up. You know, he can he can throw out those risky moves, because if he dies, okay. he still has another stock. But we need to remember, this is Captain Falcon we're talking about. This is Captain Falcon, and this is Simon. Code this Man's, character can kind of just explode. Yeah, Coatman's oh, stock, no. stock is not safe right now. Not even a little bit. Oh, down, down air. What do we got? Nair. Yeah, he okay. has to get that like safe hit, and for Belmont, the only like safe kill he has that's reliable is F tilt. Okay, and Fury broke oh. that zone. Let's see what he does with it. What's he gonna do? Uh, that F tilt is not that strong. Oh, all right, yeah. He was like, that was a good read right there. He predicted Fury was gonna make a move, and was just like, I'll just throw the holy water, out. even if it doesn't hit the legend time. Mm -hmm. If it hits him, I'll just run up and crack him with the whip again. Yeah, man, he, he definitely just tried to jump out of shield really fast before the flame, excuse me, before the holy water actually exploded and he got clipped by it, got sucked into it and got forward tilted for it. Um, Indeed. 
Yeah, it seemed like Fury was catching on a little bit towards the end of that game one, but Coleman just had such such a strong lead that it was kind of like really hard for him to make a comeback. And Coleman, so that consistent, um, wasn't getting punished a lot for those down those wake up down tilts from ledge. At yes, all. and it's gonna come down to Fury's adaptations in the matchup versus Codeman very likely going to be playing conservatively in the next game yeah. to maintain that game lead he's got. Mm -hmm. Velma is definitely one of the characters who can conservatively play with a lead. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, he doesn't, especially with a lead, he definitely has no reason to approach whatsoever. Yes, and that's going to be the deciding factor. What will win? The adaptations from Fury or the conservative play from Codeman? Mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to find we're out in this see. game. And we'll say they're going to town. Because obviously Belmont cannot go off. That's not something they do. Yeah, not really, right? Um, they can throw stuff off the stage. <laughs> they can throw stuff off the stage, but they can't really go off the stage themselves. Um, and we're going to go to town. What do you think of the stage for coming out from um, Fury? Oh, yeah, this is Fury's choice. That's interesting. Goldman Band, uh... Oh man, Ben, FD, and Smash Bolt. Oh, let's see what happens. Yeah. And you see Fury not really utilizing yeah, those, those Nair 1s, man. So, I'm not sure if Codeman's doing this because Fury hasn't punished yet, or Codeman hasn't realized he's got to have it there, but Codeman has, like, frame 1 down tilted every time he's reached the corner. Might be a combination of both. You know? Like, he hasn't delayed it yet. He hasn't, like, changed it up. I'm not sure if he's aware he's doing it or he's not aware. All right, he did a lot of lines. Never mind. Maybe he heard me from all the way over there. Honestly, he probably could have done it again. He probably would have hit Fury. Not going to lie. Yeah, because <laughs> honestly, a good majority of them have been hitting Fury. So why not keep doing it? Yeah. And as you said, Fury has not been getting like the biggest punishes off the down tilt, yeah. even though he can. Yeah, just do it until he's asked making you do it. Oh man, did a good placement of the axe there. Caught him right at the edge. There's the holy water. No good. Oh, that's it. Up to oh, me? Oh. That's a combo? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know if that was bad DI or that was just like genius. Well, it's a combo if you don't DI in there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, up there, up there. Oh, good, perfect shield. And Fury knows how to DI that uppercut. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> I was no. like, oh, he spot dodged. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I respect, I respect that. I respect it. What was, yes. what was Belmont gonna do to punch that, realistically? Die. Die. Oh! oh. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? Yo, I like oh, what he's not doing, doing it. right now. What's up? I like what Fury's doing now. He's, make, he's making Cold Man respect him now. <laughs> <laughs> and as I say that. I hate this. <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, this doesn't come up a lot. Belmont has a kill forward throw and a kill back throw. Yeah. I think he's like the only character in the game with that. Yeah, you're right. Because even even Ness's is Yeah, Ness is almost like that, but he's okay. forward there. Okay, go ahead, man. Well, at least he didn't lose it while he had like a low percent. Yeah, good empty empty oh, yeah. I saw that. I was expecting Falcon to like slide out of the corner. <laughs> that would be wild. I need cut up with Falcon oh, He rolled back in so he has no jump. Okay, Belmont cannot take advantage of no jump. In general. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice combo. I, I'm digging it. Yeah, got Fury all on the side of the stage, and now Fury has to find a way to get back to the neutral. Codeman is very aggressively looking for those whip kills, <coughs> and I respect it. Yeah, and Fury's oh. getting clipped by these nares. Yeah, if any one of those forward air or back airs catches him, he's done. Oh yeah, 100. And I like the pace that's coming up from Fury right now. Um, just right. trying to scout out Codeman's Holy landing. Water? There it is. Oh, yeah. Catch him with the whip. Just. Whack feel, it with the whip! I feel like he could... Fury can kind of SDI those um, up. I don't, I don't. I haven't really been seeing the SDI coming up from Fury at the last SDI stretch. doesn't work in this game. It does somewhat. He could nah. possibly not die from the horn until he died up. Oh. Platform came in. And ever since Fury had that lead, he hasn't really been finding much Ooh. in the punish game coming from Pokemon. Oh, oh do we have him? Oh, he, I think he went for something slimy on that down air. Falcon kick! Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, just barely misses, I'm surprised. Oh, that's... So you so you see something coming out from Fury, right? He's doing a lot of falling up airs instead of like falling near ones, which is what Falcon's kind of threatening people with and uh -oh. he can get him his oh. kill confirmed. Saved by, the, saved by the cross. And here we go, Belmont's... Back throw. 
I think Codeman recognizes that Fury's a little nervous and he's putting up the shield a little more often. He's just going for raw grabs right now. He's noticing that Fury is not swinging like we see some from other some of the other Premier Falcons in the state, like Nick C. Oh yeah, you died. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm. Good set though. Yeah. Good stuff. From, good stuff from Codeman. I push the darkness. Yeah, I, I feel like it was um, a combination of matchup unfamiliarity coming out from Fury. Um, because, like, it seemed like he was kind of learning how to punish the down tilts coming out from the corner. He was kind of learning how to break um, Simon's zone consistently. But he wasn't really getting the punishes that he needs when you break Simon's or uh, Richter's zone. And yeah. at the I end of the day... I do think the biggest issue was he was getting hit by too many down tilts. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Or at the very least, he was letting him out of the corner too much because there were a lot of uh, there were a lot of down tilts he did where Fury just didn't do anything about it. Yeah. Even yeah. though he blocked, it was like I blocked it. Yeah. Yeah, like he, he like like I said, he was gonna keep doing it until Fury made him stop doing it, and he didn't really make Fury didn't really make him stop doing it. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. That was the biggest. I think that was the biggest factor in the match. That after. Like, he was having troubles breaking the zone, like most characters do. Mm -hmm. But when he actually did break the zone, he didn't get much out of it. Which is what you're supposed to do when you get on Belmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but ooh, we at, right now we have French Tutor and Goblin. He was playing rock, paper, scissors and kept picking rock. Oh, yeah. that Usually people do that when they don't really want to um, ban. Excuse me, they don't they don't want to um, ban first. So they're just like, I'm going to pick rock. Ah, uh, yes. The <laughs> next, the next uh, match is 